Weight loss, hard truths, why you are not losing weight. Trust me, I've been on quite the journey with weight loss and I'm not done. I lost a total of 113 pounds on my weight loss journey. And yes, there have been many struggles along the way, but I wanna share with you a bit of my knowledge on the weight loss journey. Probably one of the most challenging journeys for a lot of people out there, especially us women, because it makes it really difficult for us women to lose weight because, you know, hormonally and all of that. But I digress. I wanna jump into some weight loss hard truths to help you unlock your weight loss potential. Hard truth number one, you are not being consistent enough. You're not consistent with your calorie deficit. If you are trying to lose weight, you can't just like, you know, eat perfect Monday to Friday and then the weekend blow it away and expect those results to stick. It can take one day to just knock you out of a calorie deficit after a hard weeks of long work. I know it's not fair, it's just the reality of it, but you need to look at your consistency. When I was consistently losing weight, I was very consistent with my nutrition on the daily. When I first started off, there was a little bit room for error, but as I started losing more weight, I had to be more consistent. And when I say a little bit room for error, because when you first start losing weight in the beginning, it's the easiest to lose weight. Trust me, because you have more weight loss to lose and your body just drops weight quickly in the beginning. It's kind of like the staple of anyone's weight loss journey. If you start losing weight, you notice that you lose a lot of weight at the beginning and then it tapers off. So this is where consistency comes into play. You need to be in a calorie deficit consistent and long enough. Now this is not just about a calorie deficit. You guys know that I'm a big proponent about the metabolic switch because a lot of people will stay in that calorie deficit or they will have difficulty staying in that calorie deficit due to metabolic damage. And that's where I come in with my whole fasting regimen, where I come in with the whole food order hack, making sure you're getting in the fiber first thing in the beginning of the meal to curb those glucose spikes, because it's those glucose spikes and the erraticness of that glucose curb that makes it difficult for many people to stick to a calorie deficit, that makes it difficult for many people to lose weight. So. That's where the metabolic switch comes in. The metabolic switch is turning your body from a sugar burner to a fat burner. You want your body to start burning fat as fuel. You can do this in many ways. My favorite method of doing it is keto OMAD. That's my favorite method. You can do it with a fast, but with fasting, you need to understand that fasting is just a tool to help you heal. However, the fast doesn't count if you come off the fast and you just eat out of control. The key to being consistent with weight loss is finding a diet or a system of eating that you can stick to that can keep you in a calorie deficit for a long time and can keep you in that state of metabolically fat burning. So give it consistency. Give it a month straight of just being consistent with your diet. It's okay if you fall off maybe a couple hundred calories there, here or there, but just stay consistent, give it time. Another reason why you are not losing weight is your mindset. You want it too quick. You want the fast, quick fix right now. This is not a quick fix. If you want to be successful with weight loss, you need to make this a lifestyle. You need to become a different person. You cannot expect to lose weight as the person that you were gaining weight. And when I say as the person, I mean your habit. You need to become a new person. You need to fall in love with exercise. You need to fall in love with healthy eating. You need to fall in love with finding, you know, healthy recipe swaps or fall in love with just taking care of you. You have to transform one within. This is where the mental work comes in and the mental work requires you to work on it daily, whether that be meditation for me, going to see a psychologist, understanding why you turn to food. Maybe you're turning to food due to physiological reasons because you've been, you know, eating the standard American diet full of glucose and fructose and all the damaging things. And it just makes you want to eat more and more study, go on YouTube. There's a plethora amount of information out there. Someone said a quote that, in this day and age, with all of these choices of information out there, it is a choice to stay ignorant. If you want to learn how to get it done, you will find a way. There are plenty of resources to help you 
figure it out. Now you have to have the discernment to see what is real and what's not. You have to use your thinking caps here, but your mindset needs to change. Another reason why you're not losing weight, drop your calories. For men, again, this is a general number and I'm talking from a man at an obese rate, I would say don't go more uh, 1600 to 1800 calories and for a woman a woman a woman <laughs> for women don't go lower than i would say 1200 calories you can get away with a thousand calories but i wouldn't make that a habit if you ate a thousand calories one day because you did a keto day or a keto omad it's not a big deal but make sure those are one off day but consistently you want to have an average in the 1200 calorie range just drop your calories now you don't have to go right to 1200 calories you can incrementally work your way down personally i went right to it the way i kickstarted my weight loss journey always is with an extended fast because the fast is the best way to get my body into that metabolic switch the fastest so i am not having to maneuver while you know cutting my calories dealing with excess hunger dealing with you know all the consequences of having glucose spikes i jump into a fast it stabilizes my blood sugar i come off the fast i have a meal plan and i make sure to stick to it fasting is just a great tool to help reset your system in order for you to make weight loss happen another reason why you're not losing weight drink enough water Water will help you out in so many ways. Number one, when you drink water, it helps you to stay full. Water is gonna help your metabolism, it's gonna help you rehydrate. Sometimes when we are quote unquote hungry, it's actually that we're thirsty. So make sure you're drinking your water and your electrolyte. If you wanna know what electrolyte brand I use, it's linked in the Amazon store below. I use Element, absolutely love it. The best electrolyte powder I have ever tried. Another reason why you're not losing weight, hard truth about weight loss, is that you're not getting in enough fiber. And if you're not getting in enough fiber, you're not eating enough vegetables. You should be getting between 30 grams to 50 grams of fiber per day from whole food sources. So from vegetables, from fruits, and I would say keto breads as well because the sources of fiber from keto breads is mainly things like flax seeds and chia seeds and all those kind of things. So you wanna make sure you're getting your fiber from those sources. You don't wanna be getting your fiber from protein bars and whatnot, but you wanna get your fiber from whole food sources. Fiber will help your gut microbiome, which is so key when it comes to weight loss, because we are learning a lot about the gut microbiome. The gut microbiome is responsible for so many metabolic pathways in our body. It is responsible for mitochondria health. It is responsible for helping us digest these nutrients. The mitochondria do so much for our body. And to help the mitochondria out, the gut microbiome, the healthy microbes are key and fiber feeds those microbes. Another reason why you're not losing weight, if you have cut your calories, start cutting your carbs. Cutting your carbs will help you lose weight. Carbs are not the enemy, I'm not saying that. Carbs are fuel, carbs are powerful. However, for a lot of us with metabolic damage, some of us, we just need to cut our carbs to lose weight. I'm one of those people. In order for me to cut, I need to do a keto diet. It's the only thing that works. But carbs are not the en enemy because I love carbs. Carbs, you know, fuel up my muscles, give me more oomph in the gym. So cut your carbs if your calories are cut to a low amount. Weight loss hard truth number, I don't know where I'm at, but weigh yourself daily, I know. I know I need to get back into this because I was the most successful with my journey when I was weighing myself daily. And here is why. Daily weigh-ins give you so much data. When you have the data, you understand how your body fluctuates. Listen, we have to do this as exposure therapy. Exposure therapy to the thing that we fear. That's how psychologists literally deal with fear of spiders, it's exposure therapy. So the fear of the scale, weigh yourself daily so you can understand the trends, so you can understand how your body responds. And on top of the weighing yourself daily, please take measurements and progress photos. Progress photos and measurements are key because sometimes the scale will be a little bit lagging. Many times on my weight loss journey, what will happen is before my body drops down to a new low weight, my body will hold onto water. However, I will look in the mirror and I'm, 
I would look leaner. I would take my measurements and my inches will be going down. So it's important if you're going to weigh yourself daily, which you should, you need to combine that with weekly progress photos. And that's something I'm going to get back to. I was doing that when I was working with Marcella, kind of lost track, but I'm going to get back to that. And I'm going to document this on that on my channel to help hold myself accountable and you. It's a team sport here. Increase your zone one to zone two cardio. You want to be able to do that. Right now, my coach, I'm working with a fitness trainer at my gym. She, because I told her I want to, you know, lose the weight that I gained over the holidays, which I have. I've been body recomposition. I'll just show like a little progress photo here. That's been my body right now. And she's got me doing half an hour of cardio um, after our weightlifting sessions and then on the weekend right now I have a five day, five day split so half an hour of cardio for four days or five days no four days and then one day I do like hard circuit cardio or what have you but you want to increase the amount of zone one to zone two cardio so that's low impact steady state cardio cardio where you're able to breathe in through your nose that's a cue or look at your heart rate and make sure you're in that zone one to zone two usually if you have a fitbit or a garmin i have a garmin it will tell you what zone you are in so those are the weight loss tools i can give on to the top of my head i just want you guys to understand give it time give it time give it consistency the number one thing you need to work on is your mindset through all of this weight loss can happen stay determined summer is around the corner we want to be having those summer bodies all year round not just in the summer we want to make this a lifestyle because when we look good we feel good and when we look good we're eating good and when we eat good we feel good it's a whole cycle i want everyone out there to feel good and everyone out there to make it happen for themselves if you made it this far into the video just just drop in the word red because I'm wearing red and I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care. Bye.